Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us today. This is the Romex presentation for Paving the Way to Permeable Hardscaping Solutions. My name is David Maxwell, and I'm in charge of the Eastern Sales Division. I've been in sales for just over 10 years, all around the building envelope from everything from commercial integrated security sales, facility management sales, green roofing sales, and now I have the extreme pleasure of working for Romex Permeable Hardscapes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let my uh, counterpartner here, who is our project manager, his name is Adrian Hudson Walker, talk to his great accolades as well. Oh, thanks, David. Um, so like uh, David said, my name is Adrian Hudson Walker. I've been in the hardscaping field for over 25 years. Uh, started when I was 18 as a little guy cutting the grass. And uh, over the years, I've uh, managed many commercial projects, uh, multiple residential projects. Uh, I'm an alumni of the University of Guelph and uh, just super excited to be able to uh, share this product with the uh, other hardscapers out there. Back to you, David. Excellent. Thank you, Adrian. So for today's presentation, we have a couple of learning objectives. What we're going to start with is talking about permeable grout and jointing mortar and how that works on slab and on grade assemblies, benefits to stormwater management, including municipal policies, the importance of us being a carbon neutral company. We'll talk about our grit and gravel stabilization product, and then the benefits to sustainability of a long-term project durability, the ROI for clients, the environmental benefits, of course. We'll do some project showcasings here to start, and then we'll go into two case studies later that will cover everything from residential to commercial applications. We'll review the industry standards for traditional methods versus permeable methods. And then of course, the importance of allowing water to work through our hardscapes. What is Romex? It's a very common question we get all the time. And simply put, we are not the wiring company. We are a epoxy resin company. And how that started was over 40 years ago, a chemical engineer from Germany passed down a epoxy resin formula down to his two sons, Daniel and Bert. Daniel went on to create the original floor coatings division, which is over 40 years old with great work with partners such as BMW, Mercedes, Left Hansa, Ford Motor Plant, and tons of food processing plants. And as you can see, aesthetically it looks great, but the biggest thing is it has incredible environmental benefits because you're not sawing down the concrete surfaces to level them out. With the epoxy resin, it helps level it all out, having all the great environmental benefits, but with, of course, the great aesthetic look as well. And this will be available shortly here in Canada in the next year. Now the other, Bert, Bert, or the other brother, Bert, went on to create the permeable hardscaping company that we now know today that has over 20 plus products, which range from everything from aggregate binding to jointing and bedding products that are all engineered and made in Germany. Now these have over 30 years of experience in over 27 different countries, and now has been available here in Canada for just five years as of today. Of course, we had our humble beginnings over five years ago in the West Coast with this beautiful 87 square foot little pathway with these flagstone patio done with the jointing mortar that you're seeing there. And of course, this jointing mortar can be used on a range of different pavers from natural stone, cobblestone, porcelain, concrete pavers, and even lumber. So if you have any questions with any type of hardscaping surface you want to use our products with, we'd be happy to consult with our free services. Now, fortunately, we have expanded our portfolio with great projects such as the Princess Margaret Cancer Foundation, where you can see our Romex Deco, which is our aggregate binding product that is working around the front entrance here around these beautiful belief bushes. As well, we have beautiful residential applications, as you're seeing here, where there's a mixture of our products. We'll start with this in and out driveway, which has the Romex Deco aggregate binding product here working in between these concrete slabs for a nice quick in and out little parking spot. But then as you notice in the driveway down here, you'll see our Romex drain jointing product, which is great for light vehicular applications for your driveway. One of our biggest projects to date and one of our biggest flagships, of course, here in Canada is the Canada Place project, which is just over four years old and has not had to use even a teaspoon of jointing in terms of replacement on this great big surface. Our second major project and one of the biggest trash bed installs in the world at over 200,000 square feet is here at Simon Fraser University, which started with the Convocation Hall and has expanded across their beautiful campus. And of course, we'll go into those two projects later in our case studies. Here at Gramble Side in BC, you'll see a wide range of our products being used. 
And we always love to stop on this shot because it does have a wide range of our products in this one shot. So what you're seeing here is our flex joint, which is a control joint replacement product or great for vehicular applications. And then what you're seeing here in this concrete slab filling these concrete joint cuts is our Romex Deco product again, which is the aggregate binder. And then of course you're seeing here is our jointing products within this black surface area. Another great project is the City of Vancouver Library, where on their beautiful second story terrace, where they have a ton of social events, you can see that our jointing product is being used to withhandle all of the different weather that this surface will face. And is a great flagship for us because it had Cornelia Overlander as the landscape architect on this project. Here we are in Ontario. So on the left, we are looking at a beautiful fire pit in Ottawa, where you're seeing a mixture of natural flagstone and our techo block pavers right around this pit area where we are using our Romex drain jointing product. And then on the right, you're seeing a natural flagstone, which is a remediation project where the polymeric sand had a failure in the surface jointing area. And then we came back and used our Romex drain to fix all of those joints. And as you can see, aesthetically, it looks great as well. In Toronto, we've had the fortunate opportunity to work and still continue to work on the Park Hyatt where you can see here where they're doing our full Romex system guarantee buildup. So that is our trash bed here on the left, which is has the, where they are wet laying the pavers with an adhesion and nutrient right on top in the same day. And then of course, a day after that or two days, depending on their schedule, you'll see them here doing the jointing. And then lastly, we're gonna talk about the International Trade Center out west, where they use our Romex system guarantee system as well. But here they use a, fire truck rating for our system. So that is three inches of trash bed, which you can see here over top of that granular base. And because of the fact that they use this, they were able to value engineer over a hundred K off this project in terms of savings using our Romex system guaranteed buildup. So of course, we're not gonna throw all 20 plus products at you. We're gonna highlight about seven of our products. And what we're gonna start with is our permeable paver jointing mortars, our permeable paver bedding mortar, and as well, our permeable, our, sorry, our paver bridge bonding as well. Then we'll go into our permeable gravel, which is our Deco and D7000 products. We'll go into our flex jointing product, which is a control joint and great for vehicular applications. Our D4000 product, which is great for pothole replacements. And then lastly, we'll talk about the Isotec anchors, which is great for streetscape displacement protection. Who cares that much about paver jointing? Well, we clearly do. And that is because when you spend time creating a plan, doing on-site prep and excavation, bringing new materials, installing new pavers, really what brings it all together is the jointing. And as you can see here with this picture in the back, that's what can happen if you make a poor choice in your jointing. And how we can help fix that with Romex is with our wide range of jointing products. First, we'll start with the Romex Easy, which is a one component jointing, which is great for DIY products around the house, say such as your back patio, a walkway, which is easy to use and homeowners love it. As well, we can use our commercial grade products, which is our Romex drain and Romex D1, which is a two component resin, anything from light traffic up to medium traffic loads. And even with the D1, you can go as small as a three millimeter joint width. These products are great and always are used with our commercial type products, projects. As well, we can talk about our Romex Fugensand, which is great for anything under that three mil joint width. And of course, is a polymeric jointing sand replacement. And why use Romex? Well, it's 20 to 30 times stronger than polymeric sand. It's 10 to 20 times faster than cement jointing. It lasts for decades, not months, and it has a lower overall life cycle cost. Other benefits is it is puncture resistant. You can puncture directly into those joints and nothing will happen, even keys, et cetera. You can, it's great for dry or wet weather and that's for installation and maintenance benefits. You can pressure wash it daily. It is ant, weed and frost resistant, of course, as well. We know that our product is great for eco-friendly because of the big buzzword we always use, which is permeability. But it is worth noting that once that jointing does cure, it goes chemically inert, which means when the water passes through it, it does not harm, harm the surface below. As well, we have mentioned just quickly there, but it is freeze, thaw, and heave resistant. And how we will talk about that is with a quick 
project here out in Whistler. As you can see, it gets a ton of snow on top of that surface. So what they did that summer is installed an RSG driveway entrance here. And then we came back that winter where we shoveled against the house to see how it was working. And as you can see, there's no pooling on top of the surface. It's properly draining through. So no slips, no falls, meaning no liabilities. And of course, we always know there are tons of lead initiative projects always occurring across North America. So if, there, if your project is looking for lead points, please consult us where we can try and help you get more lead points with our product, such as using it for water efficient landscaping and irrigation and rainwater management. This is something we take an extreme amount of pride of with Romex here in Canada, because we are a carbon neutral company as an offsetter. So how that works is all of the binding technology is shipped from Germany, and then we locally source all of the filler components and aggregates through locally sourced companies who meet our engineered spec sand and aggregate uses. As we know across North America and especially here in Canada, we have a ton of initiative with rainwater management plans, sustainability plans, and even green initiatives. And we know in Toronto, they have done a great job, but out in city of Vancouver, they have as well. We will dig into one of their plans. Now, as you take a quick look, you're starting to notice some buzzwords, permeability, flow rates, et cetera. And as we dig closer into the permeable paving surface area, you notice that there is no discussion of permeable jointing or permeable bedding. So part of our initiative here with Romex is to go out there and educate people on the design end to get our products in there to further enhance the initiative with the green footprint we're trying to help with. And so far, we've had great luck with the city of Vancouver, Richmond, Surrey, Victoria, not notable institutional clients such as SFU, Port of Vancouver, BC RCMP headquarters, the Aga Khan Foundation in Canada in Ottawa, which is currently still going on with the install. And of course, as we saw earlier, the Princess Margaret Cancer Foundation in Toronto. So probably the burning question is, how does our Romex jointing product works? Well, we're gonna highlight this beautiful patio install right here, where when you are ready to install, everything's been set, the jointing is ready, you will wet the surface. Once the su surface has been wet, you'll put a 55 pound bag of silica sand into a cement mixer or a mud bucket if you choose to, and then you will mix in the epoxy resin. So here we are using a two-part component resin and we're mixing it directly into the cement mixer. We'll we comprehensively coat all of the sand and you allow this mix to continue on for three to five minutes until you have that comprehensive mix. Once you have that, using the same containers, which is great for recycling purposes, you will fill it with water, dump it into the cement mixer and properly then recycle those containers. What will then happen is you'll create a wet slurry and then drop it directly down onto the surface, which I know is wild, but that is a great benefit of using Romex products. And then all while standing, using a squeegee, not on your knees, you'll be pushing this squeegee with the jointing product into all the joints, the corners, all across the surface, until you've comprehensively covered the whole patio surface. Once you've waited about 20 minutes for the curing to occur, and of course, depending on the weather, you will then use a hard brush broom on a 45 degree angle, pushing across the surface, taking off that cookie coating crust that you're seeing here from the resin and jointing product. Once that has occurred, you'll wait another 20 minutes and use a soft brush broom across the whole surface. And then of course, you will get a beautiful finished surface this took less than 90 minutes to finish with a crew of three. And as you can see, the surface looks great. The jointing looks smooth. And needless to say, the homeowner was very pleased with this quick install. We are the Canadian distributors for Romex. However, we work closely with our partners down south. And because of that, we'd love to showcase their great pro uh, projects down there as well. So here we are at the MGM Grand. And as you can see, this is a very intricate hardscaping surface. But they love our Romex product because it's not only easy for the installation where everyone's working together and getting this hard intricate surface done but as well as you can see it is very difficult to maintain this large surface so that is why they chose Romex because they actually power wash this twice daily to get all of that surface clean to make sure that all the, the visitors are happy with this beautiful patio area as you can see it looks great tons of great offerings with a widened out patio area where you can get more tables out and it looks great during night as well. And then here we are right out front of the MGM where they have the fire truck rating system. 
We're going from hot Nevada all the way over to hot New York, New York. However, we know in New York, it can get extremely cold as well. We're here out front of the Barclay Center where they use our Romex drain with the town hall pavers by Unilock to create a very durable surface that is great for when the events are held where you're seeing thousands upon thousands of pedestrians walking over, tarp, over top of this hardscaping surface. We've talked about the Romex system guarantee system earlier, but now we're gonna go a little bit more de into depth with it. So anytime you think RSG10, simply think Romex paver bedding, Romex paver adhesive with Romex paver jointing, and of course our free Romex consulting service will get you that great 10 year warranty that we guarantee with a 50 year life expectancy. How this starts with the Romex system guarantee is our paver bedding, or more commonly known as our trash bed. What we'll show you here is a little water model that we made for RDH for the SFU project, where we dumped over three, three liters of water onto this water demo. And as you can see, just over a minute is all it took for that water to pour through it, which gave it a flow rate testing of 735 inches per hour, which is just incredible. So to go a little bit more detail in what exactly the trash bedding is, well, it's superior bedding material, and all you simply use is a quarter inch clear, or HPB, or P gravel, depending on which part of Canada you are in, and you'll mix that with the trash bed compound and water. So no rebar, no sand is, is needed with this. You simply mix it, pour it down, and then screed it. And this is great because you can also wet lay the pavers in the same day, which will take the need for that 28 day curing period between the bedding and the laying of the pavers. And you can cut that out, which means reduce project timelines. And as we always mention, this is per fully permeable, which has incredible rating in terms of flow rate, as we just saw with that demo. And as well, it eliminates the efflorescence because of the compound in the truss itself. So here we are on on-grade install. So commonly during all of our lunch and learns, everyone notes that this is exactly what Rice Krispie would look like. And we can't argue with that. So once you've actually mixed it, you'll put it either in a wheelbarrow or directly down onto the surface. And then you'll screen it out over top of that granular base. So depending on the actual structural capability will depend on the amount that you get out per unit. So whether it's pedestrian or heavy vehicular, we'll change that rating, of course. And then as you go unit by unit, you'll be able to lay the pavers, wet lay the pavers at the same time, get those spacers in and then just work and work and get it done in a very quick and easy fashion. And as you can see, he has the spacers in and come back that next day once he's done the surface and do all the jointing. So there's that reduced project timeline to create a great finished product here on this beautiful patio now. And then of course it works on slab as well. So here you are seeing our trash bed right on top of the membrane. There's a nice clean cut line here, clean joints, ready for jointing the next day if they want, or it can continue onward with the trash bed install because there's no cold bridge bonding issues with our trash bed. Just simply mix, screen it right up, tamp it in, and then you're good to go and continue on with that surface. And of course it works great with radiant heating. Here you are seeing over top of the radiant heating tubes or glyco loops or whatever you're using, where you're mixing the trash bed right over top of it, have a little layer ready for the pavers on top. And then once that jointing's done, this is a great surface because it allows any type of rain, snow to melt or permeate through it. So no pooling or icing on top of the surface, which is great because there's no liabilities, no slips, no falls. And it's great for say your walkways, your patios, your staircases, your driveways, just tons of applications to use with this trash bed. The next key component with this is our adhesion and nutrient, or commonly known as thin set mortar. This has a great benefit and why? Well, it not only eliminates the efflorescence that normally occurs with any concrete products, but as well it has superior strength. And when I say that, it has a pull test rating of 2.3 MPA, and the industry standard is currently minimum at 0.5 MPA. So that is just an incredible superior strength. And as you can see, once you simply mix the compound with water, you'll create kind of like a peanut butter like substance where you'll simply back butter that onto the pavers as you're seeing here, and then you'll apply them down onto that bedding and trash bed. And as you can see, what we're highlighting very importantly here is keeping those joint lines clear. And that is because this is one of our two only impermeable products 
in our catalog. So that is important to keep those joint lines clear so that the permeability goes all the way down and through the bedding. And here we have a bigger slab with our adhesion and nutrient. So what we would recommend with our free uh, supervision and installer training is just have a nice little notch trial around these big slabs to make sure that this adhesion and nutrient isn't gooing into the jointing lines. And here is a nice little side shot of everything done. So you got your trash compound, adhesion and nutrient, and then the jointing, of course, as well. How does our Romex systems compare up to conventional systems? Well, we'll start with an on-grade comparison. So here we have the paver with cement grout onto a cement mortar bed, onto a drain mat, which is interesting because it's supposed to be impermeable, onto a reinforced mud slab, onto a compacted subgrade. So a lot of cement and a large carbon footprint with the amount of cement they're being used for on this project. However, with ours, and here you're looking at a pedestrian bound system with the jointing lines in here, you got your adhesion and nutrient on top of the trash bed, which is an inch and a half for pedestrian rating, on top of a three quarter inch clear crush aggregate at four to six inches, right on top of that compacted subgrade. Now, if you want to go to a vehicular bound, you can use the same jointing, and then you can use that adhesion and nutrient. Here we're doubling the trash to get to that fire truck rating at three inches, and then of course you're doubling that clear crush aggregate beneath to about six to eight inches, all on top of that compacted subgrade. And well, how does that compare on slab as well? All right, well, we'll start with conventional, which is the pavers, cement grout onto a cement mortar bed, onto a cement mud slab, onto a structural cement slab. So yet again, a ton of cement, a large carbon footprint, and of course, just bad benefits to the environment. However, with our product, you're putting the jointing in, the adhesion and nutrient, the trash bed, which is rated at two, in two inches here, right on top of that membrane so no drainage mat is needed because that trash compound will hit the membrane and flow out to the drains. And then of course if you want to go a little bit bigger with the trash bed on top of your uninsulated roof type what you're simply doing is you're just putting the jointing, the adhesion and nutrient, trash bed is here rated at two and a half inches, you have your insulation and then we would recommend that drain mat under that to allow the water to flow under the insulation. So we're just gonna go into our first case study, which is the Canada Place project that we talked about earlier. And the big important part about this project was it was for the big 150th Canada Day celebration here in the port of Vancouver. So part of the biggest part of the renovation was the hardscaping surface on the top here. But as we look below, you have that mixed use space of office space, um, parking, you're seeing commercial. So the structural system depth was very important on top but as well the structural capability of all the pedestrians walking on it. You have over 200 cruise ships crashing into it yearly. So it does take a lot of flexibility and a lot of um, heavy wear and tear throughout the year. But what we did is we offered a Romex solution. However, it wasn't very well known in Canada yet. So we had to kind of prove our merit. So what we did is an offsite mock-up in our North Vancouver parking lot where we took over 100 square feet right out of our driveway. We cut into it and did our full RSG install with the pavers of choice that they were looking at for this project, invited the whole design team out so that they could see the mock-up, ask any questions, and just really just see how great and easy it is to use. And this is actually where we did a couple of testing as well. So that was where they did the pull test rating, as well as they drove a forklift over top of it to prove the structural capability of the system itself. And needless to say, they were very pleased with how clean and sharp it looked over all these great pavers. And we were fortunate enough to be awarded the PO for the material on this. And so the next stage was, of course, training the installers who were awarded the PO on this as well. So here we are with UCC at the yard, working with the pavers of choice and our Romex material. Show them how it works, get around any concerns, questions, and anything that's generally that would come up with their first install of it and is always a free part of our Romex consulting services. And then the next stage, of course, is the site is ready to have us start the install. So here we would come out and do the on-site warranty reference area, where we do a couple hundred square feet of the install. And as you can see, it looks great, it's going smooth. And of course, we love stopping on the shot here because this is our CEO, Wolfgang, right on site in the trenches, helping out with any tips and advice to make sure this project goes along smoothly. And then we just go onward from there with our Romex supervision doing the full install itself. Here you're seeing the jointing going down. So they've already done the bedding and the adhesion of nutrient. 
And then they just continue onward with the smooth installation process with our Romex products. Now we love stopping on this shot just to give you an idea of what these black lines are. And what they are is for the Romex flex joint because this is where they will replace the usual control joints that go down. And then in this next shot, you're noticing a lot of tarping and tension going on. And that is because we always recommend that for curing purposes to make sure you get the full functionality of the system with no atmospheric issues occurring. But also this is occurring during January and February, which is incredible to think about because you're staying ahead of those project timelines, which means more money back in your product uh, pockets and less headaches as well. And as you can see, the final look really sells itself with those nice clean joint lines, popping the look of those pavers as well. And here's the before shot of what it looked like and a great after shot at night and during the day. And like we mentioned earlier, after four years, they have not had to replace any of the jointing on this system. So that is great for that life cycle cost analysis. And then on to our next case study, which is the SFU. So with the help of RDH, we had to do a stormwater management test, which went side by side against a map high impermeable system. What they did is they did a clad, cladding testing system, which is usually used for vertical applications, but here with a horizontal application where, two, where they put it two feet above the surface and poured about 185 millimeters of rain over an hour on, on top of this system. And what they did to allow the water to escape from it was just simply cut holes on the membrane on either end. And needless to say, it did not pool on top of that surface. And just to give you an idea, in Hurricane Harvey, they had just under 1,300 millimeters of total rainfall over three days, which is just incredible to think about and the amount of water they used during this test. And as you can see, the surface looked great. It's over 200,000 square feet now in terms of install and is now the largest globally in terms of trash bed install for Romex Canada, uh, for all of Romex, sorry. So we're gonna switch gears now and go into our aggregate binding product and we're gonna start with our deco. The deco binds any washed aggregate from 3 16 up to two and a quarter. It's great for tree surrounds, pathways, edging, accessibility pathways. And all you simply do is mix the aggregate with the deco and then you drop it down, trowel, and shape it. And it's rock hard solid, yet fully permeable as well. We're gonna go into now the Douglas Copeland Golden Tree, which is an incredible art piece in Vancouver, BC. And as you can see, it has been installed, it's been excavated, and it's ready to get the install onwards. So what you're looking at is a granular base here filled all the way up to that inch and a half needed for the top layer of Romex Deco, which is binding this pea gravel that you're looking at. So here in the more intricate areas, you're noticing he's using a hand trowel to get around the intricate pieces of the statue, as well as these lights. And then when he gets into the bigger areas, he's able to use a screen bar to help screen out those bigger areas. And as you can see, aesthetically, it looks great. It got around all those intricate pieces. And not only that, it's fully durable, easy to maintain, fully permeable as well. So needless to say, we were very pleased, but Douglas Copeland was also very pleased too. So another great application is tree surrounds or decorative areas. So this is a common headache that you'll commonly see with loose gravel tree surrounds. So that is where the garbage is collecting, the weeds are growing through it, the aggregate pieces are getting out. So that means you have to have maintenance crew guys come out maybe two, three times daily to sweep that in. So lots of maintenance dollars and upkeep dollars to keep this aesthetically pleasing. So what they asked is for us to fix this issue, of course. Here we are, we come on site, we mix it up with our cement mixer, and then simply put the aggregate in there, mix it with the Romex Deco, drop it down, hand trowel it in. And as you can see, it looks great, but there's a ton of environmental benefits which is that it's fully permeable. It allows air to travel through all the way down to the roots. And then as this tree trunk will grow, it will actually fleck away the small piece of aggregates binded to it, which is great in comparative to other type of tree surround methods. And of course, if you're working with any type of tree surround, we would be happy to consult because we have different style of methods for install. And as you can see in these two beautiful shots, here's some other great examples of that. And of course, it is great for pathways and edging. So here we are back at that same hospital. They simply said, hey, you fixed our tree surround issue. Can you fix this accessibility pathway issue that we have as well? So what they were asking for is to bind this area right here because the loose aggregate was getting out 
onto the pathways and then actually into the mechanical door, causing more headaches, more dollars to go out the door. So we simply went on site, mixed the aggregate, bound it all down, and then just fixed an, with this simple solution and an easy fix, they were able to now not worry about that anymore. And it also does look great for kind of aprons around your driveway purposes or edging around your beautiful softscaping areas or even around your decorative pathways. It's a great solution to work around those big slabs or even a transition between different hardscaping surfaces. So those mixes and applications for install were done with the cement mixer, but here we are gonna look at a topical application, which is simply using a rainwatering can in our deco and applying it over top of the surface. So this is a retrofit where an architect asked us to come out. They had this beautiful million dollar penthouse design that had these river rocks around the edging. And what was happening is the seagulls were actually picking them up and dropping them right on top of the skylights, causing thousands upon thousands of dollars of damage. So we simply came out, mixed the topical application and dropped it down with the rainwatering can over top of the surface, which is great for any light pedestrian areas like service floors or decorative edging areas. So we're gonna talk now about our D7000, which is a great product because it helps um, stabilize any grit and gravel areas. Has all the same benefits that we just discussed with the Deco product, but it does help with eliminating that complete dust area. So it would be a dust-free surface when walking on top of this grit and gravel. And as you can see, there's that topical application that I just spoke about with the rainwatering can being applied over top of this grit and gravel area using a hand tamp over top of it once that's been done and soaked in. And then of course, like we recommended earlier, just to tent off the area to make sure it cures properly. Because as we know in Canada, as you can see in this last shot, the weather can change within the snap of a finger. We're gonna go on to now our Romex D4000, which is a pothole replacement product. It's great for quick little fixes, and you can also install it up to negative 10 degrees Celsius, which means an extended window for your road repairs. And here we are in the pothole capital city of Canada, known as Calgary, Alberta, where we're working with the Ministry of Transportation, working in the fast lane at nighttime, in one of the GPS tracked potholes that they have along all of their highways, working right on their hands and knees, doing a quick little fix with a mud bucket, hand trial and a mix, and just putting it down, looks great, goes down quick and simple. And needless to say, after a year, we were green lit by the city of Calgary, and now we're in talks with them, as well as all the other major municipalities across Canada to get our product into their catalogs. Now we're gonna talk about the flex jointing mortar. And as we mentioned earlier, it's great for vehicular applications where you're seeing that shearing, stopping, gassing on top of those vehicular surfaces. But as well as we showed in Canada Place earlier, it's great for control replace, replacements as well. So those black lines that I highlighted earlier have now been filled in with this flex jointing product. And here is now our Isotech Anchor, which won the Innovation Product of the Year at the 2014 Nuremberg Show, which helps stop that paver shift and shearing forces from occurring on top of your hardscaping surfaces. So when I say that, this is what you will commonly see where vehicular traffic is on top of your paver surfaces. However, with the aid of our Isotech Anchors, you will help lock in those surfaces. And here's that stopping, shearing, gassing forces that we are speaking of. So what you will simply do is using the Romex Flex Jointing Mortar with the Isotech anchors on top of your granular base, and you will help prevent all of that uh, stopping shearing forces from ruining your hardscaping surface. And of course, with our Romex Consulting Services, we will help design the idea of where you want those anchors throughout the system to make sure it is fully optimal with the help of those anchors and flex jointing. And with the help of those two products, we will give you a five-year warranty with a 25-year life expectancy. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hand it off to Adrian to allow him to talk about our product application and installation. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to Romex. Uh, we are definitely instrumental in creating the world's most resilient, permeable hardscapes. Um, right now we're looking at Canada Place where we help them achieve unbelievable strength with a limited buildup space. Simon Fraser University where we help them deal with an unbelievable amount of rainfall. And of course the Richmond International Trade Center where we help them save $100,000. We're going to go through our permeable bedding mortars. 
uh, which is a truss bed here. We're also going to go through our permeable jointing mortar, which comes in a flexible version like this and also multiple rigid versions, and also our permeable gravel binding. Here we see the water go through at 730 inches an hour plus, as we talked with David, and a 16% joint fraction. We are Romex. So here we are going to work with a, a, a paver that is actually made of lumber. As David said, we can work with lumber as well. The site preparation is just the same as you would for any normal unbound scenario, except that we would use free draining base for sure. Quarter inch clear stone, screed it out like you would normally screed out any other surface. You know, making sure with your trowel that you are gonna pack in around the corners so your surface is nice and level getting it nicely prepared for these black locust, beautiful pavers that we have coming up here. They're simply laid down on top of the uh, free draining base and leveled out with a level, quick tap with a dead blow mallet, making sure the surface is nice and level. On the other side of this demo area, we're going to uh, use our uh, bound installation using our truss bed. Truss bed is simply a, a four to eight millimeter clear aggregate mixed with our truss compound at a ratio of four to one and then water. We're simply gonna level it out. In this situation, I believe we are using a two inch base. So this would be suitable for heavy pedestrian uh, traffic to light vehicular traffic. Once again, making sure the edges are nice and tapped in. At that point, we will add our ad adhesion alludrient to the back. Once he's spread that all out, he'll make sure that those joint lines are clean, uh, making sure that we don't block the uh, water from traveling through as the adhesion of nutrient is not permeable. Here we are just laying them down. Once he gets those laid down, a quick tap again with a dead blow mallet to settle that adhesion of nutrient into the top of the truss. Okay, and now once it's all laid, we're gonna move on to our jointing. This is our flex joint product. Like David was mentioning, this is uh, the world's only flexible jointing mortar. It is also permeable. There's also a wide range of two component resin rigid epoxy grouts, as well as some one component ones that are just activated by oxygen, which are more friendly for the, uh, for the homeowner. So we're gonna rinse out these bottles, get that all in there. We're gonna add in some water and then mix it up until we have a nice consistent slurry mix just like david was saying this is the other option of doing it we showed before in a mixer this is the way we would do it with a mixing drill this comes actually ready to mix in a bucket then you simply wet down the surface which is obviously a huge benefit um, sometimes you are limited by weather um, with this product you are not if it's actually light drizzle it's perfect for you as you don't need to wet down the surface um, if you do, you've got your hose handy. You simply move this, look at it go into those joints. It, uh, the gravity just takes it in. You get a full comprehensive joint fill right from the top of the surface all the way down to the bedding. Simply move it back and forth with the squeegee, 45 degrees, making sure that all of those joints are filled. If you need to add more water, you can while you're doing that if you find that your mix gets a little bit dry. And uh, then we take the stiff broom, Brooming it off at 45 degrees takes very little down pressure and then you move on to the soft broom after that. And what you're left with is finished joints, a beautiful looking clean surface, something that can be power washed at 5,000 PSI and fully water permeable with a comprehensive joint all the way down to the bedding. Here we are having a look at how comprehensive and how resilient this product actually is. This is in Germany where they've laid out a large section of these black locust pavers. There's Bert himself. And here we have a BMW driving over, oh, a forklift. And then also a dump truck. And I think we top it off at the very end here with a 65 ton crane. As you can see, there's really not even any movement in those pavers, which is just astounding. Absolutely astounding. And there we have it. All right, so next up, we have our joint jointing sand and stabilizer. So if you're ended up with a joint that is less than three millimeters, where one of our two part epoxy grouts will not fit in, um, we always have an option available for you. And here we would use our jointing sand. So this is a remediation project, obviously. Of course, first we're gonna power wash out all of those nasty weeds. And uh, I'm not sure if it's polymeric sand or dirt, it usually ends up being the same thing anyway. So we're gonna power wash all that uh, junk out of there 
and get it nicely clean and ready for our uh, for our our fugen sand. So our fugen sand will go into uh, any butt jointed paver. Um, my suggestion is uh, that if it's over three millimeters, you would use one of our two part epoxies. But if you are going into a butt joint or you're doing a remediation like this on a butt joint paver, um, this is the product to use. So we simply dump it out. Um, I will note that there is uh, nothing cementitious in this product, so it is actually permeable. Um, there, there's, uh, there's nothing that creates that unbelievable amount of cement dust that you usually get. Right, so we're simply sweeping it into the joints. It's the same kind of uh, application process as polymeric sand. There we are, just going in 45 degrees, lightly sweeping it in. And then we go over it with the plate compactor to shake it into the joints. As you can see, I was mentioning before, there's no cement in our product. So even though there is a little bit of dust coming off the bottom of this compactor, when we get another close up here, you'll notice that there is very, very little dust coming off it at this point. Um, you're not standing in a cloud of dust like you are with a, the uh, traditional polymeric sands. Once again, you just top up your joints, make sure they're all nice and full. Um, when we get to this point after that, we're gonna make sure that we clear the surface of all of that uh, dust that's left behind using a, a light residential blower even here. You don't need a lot just to get that off the surface. And like a typical polymeric sand application, once all the dust is gone and you have a clean surface to work with like this, we are simply going to spray it down with water as we normally would. Now, one of the big differences with this wet down is that Normally it would just crust on the top with that top layer of cement in a, in a polymeric sand. Because we have no cement in our product, the water actually does permeate right through that whole joint and does give you a comprehensive uh, joint all the way down to the bottom as well. Once you've done a little second watering, you're gonna just pour on our D7000 stabilizer. It simply just pours on like that. You're gonna move it around with a squeegee, let it percolate through the joints it really does let you know where you've been, but just by the color of it. And then it actually dries completely uh, clear. You can't even see that it was there, but you're left with this beautiful surface, resilient to ants, resilient to weeds. And um, because of its, its permeability, it is also frost resistant. And you're finished with an absolutely beautiful, a beautiful looking uh, remediation. And of course, if you were to try this with a, a typical polymeric sand, it would be all over the place, just like it was when you were, you were blowing out that original. This is our, our Fugen sand being power washed. Uh, pretty unbelievable. All right, here we are. We're going to be showing the Deco product here. Um, so just your normal sub-based preparation here. It's a, it's a free draining, once again, quarter inch clear stone base can be troweled out. I think Tom here is troweling it down to about an inch and a half as this will just be a little pedestrian uh, walkway through this garden bed. Um, now you can go at, at greater depths to achieve greater strengths, even up to light vehicular loads um, at two and a half inches. So you just pat down that sub base, making sure the sub base is nice and nice and level like you would with any other surface you're about to put down. And then we can mix, well, anywhere from about 160 pounds of, uh, of the smaller aggregate. So we're in around the three sixteenths range. Now we can mix anywhere up to a two and a quarter inch rock with this like Riverstone, and in the, there you're getting in into plus 200 pounds per unit that you're mixing. So here we're just gonna move it around with the trowel, turn the screed bar the other way up, upside down and basically screed over the top. Now we are gonna tamp this down a little bit as we go. Um, you, it only requires the tamping of a trowel. And uh, once that hardens up, it, it, is, it is unbelievably robust uh, resins that just, bind that gravel together, make it a super smooth surface. Amazing, amazing for wheelchair access pass, wheelchair ramps. In fact, we just finished doing a project in Montreal for a, a hearing aid center um, where a lot of the uh, clientele is obviously, uh, you know, of the, the upper age group. And uh, it was very important to him that he had a nice smooth transition up his wheelchair ramp into his front door. We built the complete thing out of, um, out of this Deco product and he's extremely happy. It has heating underneath. It allows the water to permeate right through. No shoveling necessary. And his elderly clients are super safe. Look at this beautiful finish. I mean, it, it's just gorgeous. Once those plants go around there, it'll be like walking through an oasis on a rock, sar rock solid, permeable hardscape. That uh, stays glossy looking like that. 
it's it's an absolutely gorgeous product and a gorgeous way to finish anything. Um, it, it'll, it makes any aggregate look amazing. It needs to be cleaned, it needs to be dry, and uh, you end up with just a most, you, you can do anything with this too. It's so absolutely versatile. Anything that you can travel, you can basically make. Um, and yeah, there we go. Absolutely beautiful, resilient, and permeable. And when we say permeable, just have a look at this. This is that same deco product around a tree surround, three liters of water, just goes through it like it is not even there. Amazing for the tree, amazing for nature, and, and amazing for safety um, in, in every way. Now we're gonna move on to the, uh, this is the actually the same uh, stabilizer that we use to stabilize our polymeric sand, but it can also be used to stabilize fine grits and gravel. Um, this is great for pathways around, uh, you know, public parks, cemeteries. In fact, we've had a lot of interest from cemeteries on this one. Um, anywhere where they, once again, where they want to be able to get wheelchairs, where they want to be able to have uh, uh, people push their babies around in strollers without them going all over the place, preventing washouts off the side of pathways where the water would go. Um, it's a very, very simple application. We just, we just stir up the top couple inches. Uh, we pour this stuff on with a watering can, making sure you're being as even as you possibly can. Okay, and once we've got that done, we're going to just go over it once again with a, a small plate tamper. Okay, and uh, it, it's, uh, it's also great for, let's say, you know, pathways into your garage, uh, access paths even behind where you want to store things. It really just stops dust and gravel displacement. Uh, it, it stops... Uh, Gravel from uh, doing what we like to call ball bearing, where it separates between the, uh, the fines and, and the larger particles, and you end up uh, almost feeling like you're on a skating rink on top of those round pebbles. Um, so here we are just applying the top coat afterwards. Just make sure everything is locked nicely into position. Great work, Joe. This is Joe from out west. Great. Finished result looks beautiful. Um, as we were mentioning before, too, this is, this is one of our impermeable uh, products that we carry but it is unbelievably strong. This is D4000 pothole repair, known to us in the, uh, in the Romex world, what we call it is the beast. It is unbelievably strong. It sets up very quickly, and uh, you can reopen the surface that you're, um, that you're preparing very quickly. So you're gonna cut it clean around the edges, just like you would with any other asphalt repair. Make sure your sub base is nicely compact, and then we simply just mix in the 40 pounds of sand that comes and the two part epoxies. With this particular one, we do not use any water. We're simply just gonna mix the epoxy and sand together for a minimum of six minutes. So you see a nice integral mix, all the pieces of sand are coated and then you simply just dump it out of the muck bucket. We're gonna trowel it around with your, just a normal hand trowel. Okay, and it is also just it is also just hand tamped with your trowel, so you can see the difference between uh, when it's first being laid down and once it's been tamped with the trowel, making sure it's a nice even spread, nice even tamp, looking really good again. So th this can be installed into up to temperatures of minus ten, which is just uh, not possible with asphalt, obviously, uh, and just a absolutely rock solid when it's finished. So this is what our, our bound gravels look like after they're finished used as a drainage strip, as accents around uh, stepping stones. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, here's, a, here's a, a truss bed. We're gonna look at some finished products with the different types of surfaces you can use with our grouts, which is anything. Look at those different flagstones, cobblestones. We're gonna get into some slate, some porcelain, and then some beautiful flagstone coming up here. And also, Concrete pavers, of course, um, makes concrete pavers just look beautiful. And of course, like David said, even lumber. Excellent, thank you very much, Adrian. We're just gonna summarize everything. I know we've thrown a lot at you today, guys, but just always think about when you think Romex that it's fully permeable, frost resistant, stronger, and more resilient with our full assemblies. But also keep in mind that it's great for stormwater management, meets IRMP regulations, allows water to throw, flow through it and never trap between a rock and a hard place. It will not shrink, crack or crumble. It's strong enough for power washing every day. No ants or weeds will grow through it. Significantly reduced maintenance, as well as a long-term return on your investment. 
as well with regards to the installation as Adrian talked about is that you will see about 90 percent fewer labor hours with compared to most normal jointing mortars as well as you can get up to about a thousand square feet per day per person in terms of the grouting so that means reduced project timelines so less time on site and quicker on to the next project so more money ultimately back in your pocket as well as we talked about with the Canada Place project, you can achieve more with our systems with less space. As well as we talked about the International Trade Center with the mud slab being eliminated to save money with our RSG systems. As well as we offer a wide range of solutions, both for unbound and bound assemblies. So you can avoid those common pitfalls and poor material and preparation choices with the help of our Romex Consulting. Ultimately, we do not consider ourselves sales reps, though we will sell to you, of course. But we are more of a advisors and consultants from design to install and all the way through the renovation stage if needed as well. We will train installers with our experienced supervisors such as Adrian. As well, we have over 25 years of experience across the globe. And what we always love to say is that our success will come from your success in the project. So now we're gonna transition into a little Q&A and we'll take it from there. All right, guys. So thanks for again for watching our presentation. Uh, this part of the presentation is just where we prepared some questions that we commonly seen at all our presentations, demos, or talking to clients. So what I'm simply going to do is just ask Adrian. He is our technical representative and expert, of course. So with our first question, what we commonly always hear are what are the weather and temperature restrictions with our Romex products? Well, there are definitely uh, weather and temperature restrictions. They are on the package. Um, there's there's high end restrictions and there's low end restrictions. So because we're getting into the winter, let's start with the low end. Um, so the low end restrictions, you're basically looking, if you're looking to install our trash bed or what we could call our concrete slab replacement, permeable concrete, um, you want the ground temperature to be over zero degrees. Um, you can't lay it down onto a frozen surface and you're looking to get at least five degrees that day and rising to a certain degree. If it's not, if it's going to drop below freezing that night, again, you're looking to put some thermal tarps over it or maybe something just to allow it to cure. Um, on, the, on the high end of that, really, it's just a, the hotter it is, the faster it cures. So you, uh, you need to move, you need to move faster. Uh, you know, in, in the fall, you have a uh, quite a long time before you need to lay your pavers on top of it because uh, you do want to go wet to wet. Um, whereas in the summer, you know, you, you're going to want to have a crew ready to lay those pavers as you're screening out the trash bed to allow that wet to wet to, to wet bond. Uh, when we get into the, the grouts, generally speaking, we're going to want over a five degree surface temperature. Um, so I mean, depending on what time of year you're at, it will depend on what the surface temperature is. Generally in the winter, the ground temperature is going to be a little bit colder than it is over the night. Um, and in the summer, uh, the opposite, it gets a little bit warmer at night than, than the air temperature uh, like as you're going into the evening. So on, on the high end, we're looking anywhere from about 30 degrees uh, that you don't want to be putting those epoxy grouts down after that now you can achieve cooler temperatures on the surface using a hose just to cool it down um, so having a temperature gun is a good idea uh, and I, I believe the deco is the same thing you're looking at uh, wanting to be over five degrees um, and once again the hotter it gets the faster it sets so you know in, in, in hot temperatures hot days it's not a bad idea to keep your resins in a cooler so you get more time to work with it before it uh, it gets to the temperature that it is that day Excellent. I'd say and that's uh, that's pretty good for temperature restrictions, yeah. Excellent. Uh, the next question that we commonly get are, what are the maintenance requirements for our products? Well, maintenance requirements, I mean, are, are one of the reasons why you would use a, a Romex product is to save yourself some maintenance. I mean, all of our, all of our jointing products are power washable, uh, all to different degrees. So, uh, I mean, our even our, uh, our Fugen sand, which is our polymeric sand that has no cement in it, is also power washable. I mean, you're looking at maybe using a residential power washer, you know, 15 to 1800 PSI. Um, when you get into our two-part epoxy grouts, you can use uh, anywhere from 3000 PSI. And I know the guys out West have personally used an 8000 PSI pressure washer with a boiler and were unable to displace D1. So um, you can, really the maintenance practice for it is to power wash it once it becomes less pervious. It's designed to not allow environmental dusts and, uh, and pollens into it. 
And if they do sit, once they do sit on the surface, because they will, depending on your environment, you simply power wash it. Okay, uh, with our decos and other stuff like that, where it's larger particulate, a leaf blower works, but you can also power wash that. So um, really the maintenance practice is, uh, is, is just power washing it when it doesn't work how you want it to. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Adrian. And no then problem. the next question we have is, can you speak to the benefits of how we use our engineered silica sand, say, versus the industry standard of polymeric sand? Well, I mean, uh, the, the sand being engineered is um, is partially what makes it uh, permeable as well. Um, we have engineered the concrete out of per, uh, polymeric sand. It's kind of a different, we're in a different category because we are not cementitious and because we are polymeric, uh, we are uh, permeable. So therefore, that's the biggest separator for me is the fact that um, we do not carry cementitious material in our in our in our jointing product, and it is actually pervious and power washable. Biggest differences for me. Excellent. And uh, I think that's uh, we're good to wrap up. I think there, David. I I think um, <laughs> that's the end there. All right, guys. So we do really appreciate your time today. I know we've uh, thrown a lot at you, but hopefully, anytime you think of hardscaping, you now think of Romex. So if you do want to reach out to us, either touch base with us through our website or find us through our Instagram page or Facebook, uh, we would be happy to help you out either from the east or the west of Canada or even in the U.S., depending on where you are. So I do appreciate all of your time, and I'll let Adrian just uh, quickly say goodbye as well. <laughs> yes, uh, guys, thank you very much for, for your time, your interest. Um, I would be more than happy to come out and show any of you how these products work. Um, that kind of support is always free. Uh, we we are always here for for support, and that's really a, the main part of our job is to make sure that these uh, these products go in the ground properly, and that you have our support with that. Excellent. Thank you very much, guys, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.